for what I think is the first time an actor cast in a whitewashed role has rescinded the role with a pretty cool statement. Uh, this is, of course, Ed Skrine. You may remember him as Dario Naharis. For, for a season. For a little bit. Uh, now, and, and I, I know and Ajax him as the guy Deadpool. who I think is um, Nicholas Holt all the time. Right. <laughs> I, every time they had the thumbnail up on the article, I was like, Nicholas Holt, he looks. But he has exited the new Hellboy film, Hellboy Rise of the Blood Queen, with a statement. Last week it was announced that I would be playing Major Ben Daimo in the upcoming Hellboy reboot. I accepted the role unaware that the character in the original comics was of mixed Asian heritage. There has been intense conversation and understandable upset since that announcement, and I must do what I feel is right. It is clear that representing the character in a culturally accurate way holds significance for people, and that to neglect this responsibility would continue a worrying tendency of obscure ethnic minority stories and voices in the arts. I feel it is important to honor and respect that, therefore I have decided to step down so the role can be cast appropriately. Representation of ethnic diversity is important, especially to me as I have a mixed heritage family. It is our responsibility to make moral decisions in difficult times and to give voice to inclusivity. It is my hope that one day these discussions will become less necessary and that we can help make equal representation in the arts a reality. I am sad to leave Hellboy, but if this decision brings us closer to that day, it is worth it. I hope it makes a difference with love and hope, it's grind. I respect him a lot. I want to patronize his movies now and watch him because I, I mean, I probably shouldn't based what I watch based on if the actor is, in my opinion, a good person, but I do. And, and this was a good move for him because now the creators of the film won't be able to just cast another white person. They won't be able to get Nicholas Holt and say, well, okay, well, <laughs> job's done. Now they have you know, the, a laser focus on them to do a good job in this casting. Yeah, I will, I, it's just, I'm happy he did this because this is a problem that's consisted and uh, persisted rather. This is a problem that's persisted for decades and decades. I believe you have a list, a very um, uh, incomplete list of roles that were uh, whitewashed because we don't, when we have this material where this there's this character who is a certain race and then we change that to represent what we think is is normal or what everything should be and you lose out on that and you have people not being represented. It's representation is so important and it does, especially to children yeah. where you feel like, oh, I'm not normal, I can't be part of this. This is a game that will never include me. And to see someone represented who's like you, it does mean a lot. So that's part of the important part, is not necessarily to stay true to the way the comic was written, it, you know, with culturally sensitive you know, characters like this where being Asian, uh, being mixed race Asian is important to that character. Mm. Uh, for, for example, like um, a lot of the comics that came out of the 70s, 80s, 90s are just primarily white characters. Mm. So that when they are recast to be minorities, people applaud that. It's not being true to the character like Zazie Beetz as Domino. People think that's a good idea. No one should be saying, well, that's a white character. I think you should turn that role down. Mm. Zazie, to, to be true to the spirit of Domino, the most important character in our canon. Like, Who is specifically written as yeah. being Caucasian. <laughs> right, right. So you obviously want to look at both sides of that argument with the most culturally sensitive and responsible viewpoints that you most possibly can. Well, it's not, you know, it, we look at false equivalence with this, which is why, why does it matter that Domino is white or black? And it's just like, well, it's not the same thing, overrepresentation, and uh, I mean, you also have to look at every character is, sub I mean, every situation is subjective. Yeah. Where it's like, uh, what is, what, ha what does this change about the story? What is a change that is essential? And you need to examine whether or not uh, that is true, or if that matters. And it's grind lost work. He's not gonna get. Paid, he's not gonna get this credit. He's not gonna be in the movie. That's a great sacrifice to himself. Whereas like the Tilda Swintons of the mm. world did get their big starring role in the movie. Mm. And, and Doctor Strange is what I'm referring to because mm -hmm. that character was formerly an elderly Asian gentleman and now it's a, yeah. the I ancient mean, one is a white I woman. I mean, that's so. even another problem because it's just like, well, this movie is trying to appeal to China. China doesn't like Nepalese people or, putting them into things, so what do we do? I think it could have been solved a different way, or I think we could have had a Nepalese person. That, I mean, that was the argument, or, or one of the considerations for Matt Damon's The Great Wall, because mm -hmm. that was a Chinese-funded film. Uh, from what I've read, they love white American action you movie stars. China stars. mainland? Yeah. Okay. 
it, yeah, it was funded. Yeah, well, I, I mean, we were talking a little bit about this off camera, which is uh, foreign interests or, or foreign nations right. uh, have different wants and uh, representation desires than uh, Asian Americans, African Americans, uh, Latino Americans, what have you. It's, it's, it's not, I don't know how many times I have to say that Asian Americans and Asians are different. Yes. Uh, but that is that is something else to consider. It's extremely nuanced. I'm glad we're just all considering it now. I'm mm -hmm. glad that the conversations are happening and that studios are being held accountable for at least, you know, we're being told that they should be doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. That actors are going to leave your picture if you're not responsible. The movies aren't going to do well and they'll get bad press if you're not responsible. Mm. Cheers to you, Ed Scrine. <laughs> I like you. Audience, uh, what do you think of the new Hellboy reboot? Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.